My name's Lee Emmanuel and uh, I'm trying to be a professional track and field runner. I never, I wasn't like a guy that loved running when I was little. I used to be a soccer player and then as the years went on I started getting really good at running and less good at soccer. So I was just like, well, maybe I should keep this going. Back when I first started, I really didn't kind of enjoy it. I enjoyed racing, but the training, like, I really, really disliked it. So it took me a while to get used to it. And I didn't run for two or three years when I was like 18, 19. I just gave it up completely. So it's kind of been a bit of a love-hate relationship with running, but I'm in a love state at the moment. Uh, in England, I ran at Sheffield University, where I went to school. But I only ran my last year, because I kind of, I decided I wanted to come to America to get a scholarship so I was like well I should probably start training if I want to do this so I started running started talking to coach Franklin who is now my coach and is the coach at New Mexico where I ran for three years and he kind of told me the time he wanted me to run to give me a scholarship so I had that in my mind started training ran the time and luckily he gave me a scholarship oh, yes, I'm I'm very good friends still am with all the guys on the team and it was just great fun being part of the team for the first time in my life really when it comes to running and I do miss the team aspect of it, but at the end of the day, it's an individual sport, so it's kind of like, I always used to look at it. I need to look after myself, and if I do well, then I'll help the team out, so I'm just kind of... Are you going to help out No? My favourite moment was when we won conference for the first time at Cross Country. Like, it was 2009, I think, in BYU. Like, BYU were the big favourites, and we went there and beat them. And that was like, we didn't even consider our chances of winning it before but we just had a great day. I didn't even do very well that day, I was the sick man. But just to uh, achieve that as a team was awesome. So I think that would probably be my favourite day. Obviously winning nationals would be second, the first time round. Well the second time round was cool as well but the first time round was like, I couldn't believe what just happened. I was in shock so yeah I'd say those two are the, like, the, the best moments. And now the main This is William Manuel. Oh we're good, we're good third. And William Manuel. My my worst race, well not my worst race, the worst I felt was my last race in NCAAs in 2010 it would have been. Like I wanted to come up, like finish my career on a high and I finished sixth at nationals and I was just devastated. I went out, my race tactics weren't the best I'll be honest but you know I tried to win it and it just my legs just fell apart and I everything kind of went wrong and I just remember being like on the track with my head in my hands just like devastated that I couldn't finish my Labour career with a national, another national tie on my first one on the outdoor track which was my target so that was definitely the low light. I've been fortunate the last couple of years that I've been sponsored by New Balance but that's unfortunately going to be coming to an end at the end of this year so I mean it just helps in terms of I don't have to worry about anything you know I've got money coming to me I've got travel budget I've got shoes I've got everything I need so it's just it means that I can just focus on training. Because the, vi the visa I'm on, I can't actually just go and get a job. So I'm kind of relying on getting professional sponsors and stuff. So I'm working on hopefully getting a lot more in the next couple of months. Like I've never actually tried to get a sponsor before. I've just been lucky enough that New Balance came with some money and gave it to me. So hopefully now that I'm going to be a bit more proactive, I've got a lot of people supporting me. So hopefully I should find hopefully more sponsors and actually kind of potentially even make more money than I was making when I had a shoe sponsor, so we'll see how that goes. <sighs> to be honest, the last two years when I've been a pro have been a nightmare. Like, I've not had any races which I would say were good. So, I've had, it's been kind of like a downward spiral of sort of four races. I had one bad race and another one and then another one, so it's kind of, it's been hard the last couple of years. Like, I really had to it was sort of like there was times when I just wanted to walk away from the sport and stuff. So like the main, the only one, well not the only reason, but the main reason I moved back to Albuquerque is to just kind of like rediscover my love for training and running again, which is seems to be working pretty well. So I've had some pretty poor moments with the Olympics coming and going, and World Championships coming and going, like teams that I anticipated making when I turned pro, and obviously just things going, you know, pretty poorly. So. December the 22nd is going to be my first race in anger. I'm going to go and run a 3k in Boston with one of the guys that I train with uh, and used to be on the team with. So we're going to go and try and run a kind of a time trial kind of race and try and 
both get PR. I'm hopefully going to get a qualify for European indoors done out of the way and early and yeah, just get, get the ball rolling in terms of running fast and feeling good again. Um, I'm trying to run the Olympic A standard, so a 335-1500 is my target for this year. So, and my mile target, I want to try and run 355-ish this winter to try and qualify for the European Championships indoors. So, decently fast. I feel like if I'm running well, I should comfortably make the team. So, my confidence is high at the moment on that one.